All right, everybody, so you are watching this video because you have created your bouncing ball animation. You have gone frame by frame by frame to make it look like the ball is falling around uh, your fifth or sixth frame. You should stretch the ball out, and then you should squash the ball to really make it look like it is moving in space. When I play it, I get something like this. Excellent, nicely done, and I am now ready to save it. Remember, saving on this site is a little funny because we're not gonna actually hit the save button. The only time we're gonna hit the save button is if we want to save it as a brush ninja file because we wanna open it back up again later. So save is only for saving it so that you can open it again later in brush ninja. So like at the end of class, if you um, did not finish something, you wanna save it so you can open it back up the next day. But when we are done with something and we need to put it in our portfolio, we need to go ahead and hit this export button. I'm gonna call mine bouncing ball. And I'm gonna click export as animation. So when you are done with something, export is the button you want. If you are not done with something, save is the button you want. I click download. So I just clicked two blue buttons in a row. My file popped up over here. It automatically saved to my computer. Sometimes you get a little white pop-up box. You know that it's it did its job. And now I need to go ahead and put that in my portfolio. So I'm gonna go to my number two assignments. open up that portfolio. I need to find a blank slide. I'm gonna use the insert image button to help me here. Insert image, this little button right here, upload from computer. Why? Because the file is saved to our computer right now. And now I'm gonna look around until I find the thing called bouncing ball GIF. And I'm gonna put that in my portfolio. All right, go ahead and do that on your own computer.